What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Comic Solution coming at you live once again. Today I have a special video for you. We're going to be unboxing a mini game anniversary edition entertainment system. What is this entertainment system, you ask? No, that's the actual name of it. It's called Retroactive Game. The entertainment system. It's a great name, I know. It's a mini game entertainment system. It includes 500 games and it looks a heck of a lot like the NES Classic or the NES Mini as some of you gamers may call it. Thanks to that wonderful nickname. It looks almost identical to it and it is a tiny little mini miniature NES it looks like. I'm actually pretty happy about it because the NES Classic was extremely limited and um, it only had well, I mean, it had 500 games, which is amazing, actually, compared to the, the price of 60 bucks a game back in the 90s, which the content was pretty cool, but to pay that much money nowadays, which you do have to if you go to the stores, uh, you know, retro gameware is not cheap at all. It's like sitting on shelves collecting dust and still priced at 60 bucks, you know? <laughs> Try to buy uh, old games at the local gaming store and it's just extremely expensive so I went a cheaper route I bought this you may have seen it on uh, Facebook or what have you and it is a little nifty gaming system looks just like the NES mini and it's almost uh, I don't know as far as the games that come with it if it's the same or what but it's very comparable I would say okay so we're gonna unbox it I have been waiting on this for quite a while I got the box in today from China. Uh, I knew for sure what it was, but I wanted to open it just to show you guys this box that I knew it came in. And I would like to unbox it as well as play some classic games for you. I don't know what I'll be getting into today, but I would like to hook it up, see how it plays and stuff, because especially a person, kind of bad reviews, but we'll see. We'll see about that. Holy crap. You can see that right there, comic fans. It's an NES Mini, almost identical clone. <laughs> oh my god. It fits in the palm of my hand. Look at this little feller. Looks just like an NES Mini. <laughs> it's a little baby Nintendo. Anyways, I'm pretty excited about this thing. Let's see what else we got. It's got another controller. This is the one controller. We've got another one. Oh, little user manual on how to do the little bitty itty bitty tiny game thing system. We'll hook it up. We have the power supply, AC power supply, as well as the AV hookup composite component, whatever. Old school, red, yellow, white. And it's got a little audio jack. Kind of difference. Okay, well, as you guys know, I love gaming. Retro gaming systems have been something that I've had in my life. I grew up with the original NES, so this is kind of near and dear to my heart. Uh, I've played video games the majority of my life, and it's something I've had around or wanted to be around a lot as a kid. And now with this thing, since I wasn't able to pick up the NES Classic for 60 bucks, and I would not spend more than that, because it's just not worth it. Not in today's market. I'm so glad I got this thing. Well, we'll see how glad I am. It's an entertainment system, and I do want to check it out. If it works well, I will be glad. I'll give you guys my review of it. Whew. What a time to be alive. It's exciting. You just imagine... In the future, 20 years from now, buying an Xbox Classic with all the games on it, that's just crazy. I don't i don't know how that would work. I don't know how much more advanced we can get. <laughs> of course, who would thought that 20 years ago, right? This is very cool. All the games that come with it. Friday the 13th, about four or five different Marios, all the Donkey Kongs, 
Um, even games that were not as favorably reviewed, like Simon's Quests, for example, or the Power Ranger game, or <laughs> Chip and Dale, Robocop, Double Dragon, Contra, all the Ninja Turtles, uh, Mortal Kombat, all kinds of crazy cool stuff. Friday the 13th, gotta say, it looks pretty good. I don't see a Zelda on here, which is a little bit disappointing. I uh, see, maybe it's mistitled uh, translation from Japan. Dr. Mario, The Goonies, Bingo, that's extremely exciting. Man, I really hope they have Zelda on here. If they don't have Zelda, I'm going to be a little upset. That is just crazy. Well, I don't know what I'm going to play first. I think I'm going to have some fun on this thing. Whew. Let's get to it, guys. I'm going to hook this thing up, and I'll get back with you. Okay, as you can see, we just turned on this NES Mini retroactive collection of console, whatever. And the screen is extremely blurry. I've messed with the AV output. I actually hooked it up to my TV in the living room. And it's just really screwy. I can get it in on one AV and have clear picture, but I have screwed up audio when I have it on that TV. And I want to have audio because it's really great. But it is working. I can't really say it's the console's fault. Well, I can. I'm going to know. Because it's, it's the TV, I guess. Oh, this is not what I want to play. Hold up. This is Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. I used to play this game at Chuck E. Cheese all the time as a little kid, like in second grade, and eat pizza IRL and in the game. It's great. I'm going to go with Michelangelo, because at the time my favorite color was orange, so he's always been my favorite Ninja Turtle. And we'll drink some My three pizzas. Shout out to New Tastic Fever. If you haven't checked it out, check out the Three Pizzas podcast, folks. It's freaking hilarious, dude. All right, we're fighting foot soldiers. Let's so off to us. Freaking, this is starting out crazy already. I swear to God, it says Pizza Hut right there. I don't know if you can. Crap, you can't really see it. I swear to God, the screen says Pizza Hut. Oh. This is great. This is going very well. I'm going to keep playing because that's what the hell I'm going to do. Let's do it. Keep it tough.
I know the boss is two little robot things. Like that, we're done. Thanks you guys. Thanks for all you comic fans out there for watching. I love you guys, each and every one of you. I love you to death. And don't forget to keep it Duffy.